So today I am at a campground called Gunner Pool and I've never been here before so I'm really excited to check it out. So this is a view from my campsite which is pretty neat. That's Gunner Pool and there's picnic tables, fire rings, which I'm not going to use since there's a burn ban, but it's a very pretty place. So my car setup has actually changed quite a bit since the first video that I did and I am now living in my car full time, van life, or you could say car life. So I'm going to show you guys what I've got going on here. Right, so over here I have my bed and my mattress is really neat because it actually is a trifold mattress so it folds backwards whenever I need to put something here or access some stuff that's back here. So I have a blanket and then I have my dry bag, packing stuff, um, biking stuff, helmet, all of that. Um, and this is a waterproof blanket. It actually comes in handy for a lot of different uses. Got my trash right there. My bicycle, prized possession. Um, so back here I have a lot of different stuff. I have my toiletries here and water and more water and fire starting stuff. And this is a tent that I sometimes set up to like save my spot. Um, I got my camping chair, and then I have all of my other kayaking stuff back here. The paddles, seat, and these are the foam blocks that I use to put the kayak on top of my car, which I don't have with me right now. I have hiking shoes and a first aid kit. Over here I have like a little tool bag and my swimsuit towel, curtains. And on this side I have my cooler. Food box, tote box with clothes. Um, all my cooking stuff is down here. I don't really want to pull it out, so this is my floaty that I used to float around the river. This is a box of cooking stuff, some foil. And down here, I have my little propane stove and my cook set, hand washing station. Um, one thing that's really, really important, guys, is I do not keep anything in my front seat at all. So. That way it's more stealthy and people don't know that I'm living in my car. So my setup's a little bit different than a lot of people's setup because um, I don't have any solar panels or um, electrical power bank things or refrigerator, any of that stuff. Um, the only thing that I need to charge since my setup is really primitive is my fan, headlamp. So there you have it folks, that's my setup. So here's the dam. I'm just by CCC. So I'm about to go out hiking and I decided to reorganize my hiking backpack just because I haven't done that in a while. So there's actually a list that I found online and it's the 10 essential things that you should take hiking with you and I don't have a cell phone signal right now so I can't look them up but let's see what I have in my backpack and we'll check and see if I got all 10. What do you think guys? Do you think I got them all? So we got water, Canola bars, car keys, a knife, a tarp, which could also be used as a shelter, first aid kit, rain jacket, bear spray, my satellite device, headlamp, hiking book, and in this little compartment I have like miscellaneous little things. I got a whistle, a lighter, flashlight, sunscreen, bug spray, ibuprofen. <laughs> It is really hot outside, so I will not be hiking this whole trail, but thought I'd go down here and check it out a little bit. I don't know if I'll be going any further on this trail today. Well, he's a black snake. He's harmless, but... This is my cooking setup. I have a tiny cast iron skillet, propane burner. Got all my cooking stuff in here. And some grilled cheese and soup for lunch. 123.8 degrees. Perfect temperature for relaxing for a nap in my car. It's hot out there, y'all. Gunner pool was nice and refreshing. The water was very cold, which was perfect on such a hot day. So I'd highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in the area and I will definitely be back again.